Hello everybody and welcome back to more of the Pokemon Heart Gold after game. Last time we took on the Cerulean City Gym Leader, Misty, earning ourselves our third gym badge here in the Kanto region. And now here we stand upon the Cerulean Cape, where Suicune lies ahead of us. We've encountered Suicune numerous times, both in Johto and here in the Kanto region. And Yuzine has been there pretty much every step of the way. And finally, Yuzine has recognized that Suicune is pretty much testing us to battle it and then entrust its power with us. So, Ampharos is out in front, and we're going to be paralyzing this thing, and I'm going to be weakening it with another Pokemon as best as possible without taking it out, and then capturing it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Meet Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon, water type. Pressure for the ability. Alright, it comes at level 40, and I think I mentioned this... Uh, well, I mentioned that I would mention this again, but... When I was hunting for Entei and Raikou, I mentioned that Suicune was actually the first legendary Pokémon to receive its own special theme, which is pretty cool. Alright, so obviously Ampharos would take this thing out with an Electric-type move, so let's try a Signal Beam as the Quick Claw is going to activate, even though we were faster than it, no matter what. Alright, hopefully little damage there, Ampharos. Okay, that's actually kind of bad, because that was a critical, so I don't know if a regular hit would have taken it down only halfway. Um, I'm going to switch out... Oh, who can I go in... Fortress, maybe? I think is probably the only Pokemon, in all honesty, that could whittle it down. And why'd you use Rain Dance twice in a row? That's... That's a little bit weird there, Suicune. Anyways, uh... I'm only gonna go for a Bug Bite, just to see what happens. Come on, Fortress, I believe in you. There we go. Good job, Fortress. Gust. Well, we are Steel-type, so the Bug-typing super effectiveness is resisted now because of that. And now that Suicune's in red and paralyzed, it's time to chuck 100 Pokeballs at it. And yes, you do notice that I have Ultra Balls in my inventory. That is because one, two... Aw, that is because I finally gave up on Raikou, and I used an Ultra Ball after encountering it probably up to 50 times, and it just wouldn't stay in a Pokeball, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna break the rules like I did with Landorus in my original Black playthrough, and I'm just gonna use a different ball. Although, I did use a Master Ball on Landorus, so it's not as bad. Anyway, first time we tried capturing it, got out at 2 shakes, and now this time it gets out at 0 shakes. Come on, Suicune, you gave me pretty good hope during that first thrown ball attempt. I don't know how, that, I was trying to say that differently, and it would have probably ended up sounding weirder than it probably was in my head. 1, 2, 3! We just caught Suicune in 3 Pokeballs. Are you freaking kidding me? And I'm actually surprised I'm more calm than I, than I thought I would be. Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon. Said to be the embodiment of North Winds, it can insist... It can instantly purify filthy murky water. I am just... Wow. I did not think that we would be capturing Suicune 
in three Pokeballs. If only it were that easy with Entei and Raikou, man. Come on, no nickname, obviously. Let's see what Yuzine has to say. James, you two are truly amazing. I have never seen a battle this intense. I have no regrets. Farewell, Suicune. Farewell, James. And farewell to you two, Yuzine. Alright, so, I guess now that we're done with that, um, let's fly to the next city that we're going to take a gym on, and that gym is actually going to be the Pewter Gym. So we took on Misty, and now we're going to take on Brock. We're taking things a whole nother backwards here for this after game. Alright, and this is actually the first time we're going to be exploring Pewter. There's actually this one area that I do need to go to, because there's one important guy, and I think this is him. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto? That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. And we've obtained the Silver Wing. This Silver Wing will allow us to go search for Lugia, the mascot of Pokemon Heart Gold and the other legendary from Generation 2 that you can capture in this game. But we will be saving that for a later time. Anyways, it's kind of a shorter episode, but I didn't really expect to catch Suicune in three Pokeballs. So, next time on the Pokemon Heart Gold After Game, we will be taking on the gym leader of Pewter City, which is, hang on, even though everybody and their mothers should know who it is by now. Yeah, just bear with me one second. I'm making my way over here. The pew and I run past the sign. The gym leader is Brock, the rock solid Pokemon trainer. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time where we will be taking on the gym leader of Pewter City, Brock.